All right, what up, my people? We're on lesson four. Problem number one. A little throwback to some proportional relationship action from earlier in the school year. And uh, all we got to do is write yes or no. Are these proportionally related or not? So remember, proportional relationship, we're looking for multiplication or division by a constant of proportionality. As long as the division doesn't have your variable in the denominator, you should be okay. No pluses, no... Uh, exponents, no uh, funky stuff like that. So A, when they're just multiplying uh, a variable by one-eighth, that's fine. One-eighth the number, I'm cool with it. You guys are good. That's proportional. Ooh, exponent. Uh, no. And then on this one, even though it's on the left side of the equation, it doesn't matter. It's three times S equals P. It's just multiplication. Now, there are some that might write yes on this one. I'm going to be looking for that. So make sure you check this. 60 divided by W equals L is not proportional because what if W happened to be zero? Then that wouldn't work at all because that's undefined. So you don't ever want to have your variable in the denominator of a proportionally related equation. It's not going to work out for you. All right, and number two, Claire, uh, we're going to do all these problems. I want to write addition equations for them, and I think that'll be the best way to go about this. Claire has $54 in her account. so. $54. It's positive. She has it. A store credits her accounts with a $10 refund. Credit is a good thing if it is refunded to you. It's an addition to what you already have. So Claire has 64 bucks in the bank. And that's the answer to the first one. Now May owes the bank $60. Oh, May, what have you been doing? You are in the hole here. 60 below. And she gets an $85 uh, birthday gift, which is sweet. And she decides to deposit it, which is like an addition to her account. So this is the problem set up. We can go back to our rules. The signs are different. So we're going to subtract them. 85 minus 60 would be the subtraction. And we get $25 of difference. Uh, she's now in the positive because she got more birthday money than what she owed. So she now has $25. Uh, to her name in the bank. Uh, Tyler is overdrawn. Okay, Not a good thing for Tyler to be doing. He's re he wrote a check that he didn't have. He is $180 in the hole. Not good stuff. His brother has $70 more than he's got. So more money would be adding a positive amount of that to find out what his brother has. So there's our setup. Signs are different. We gotta subtract. 70 taken away from 180 is 110. Uh, even though his brother's got more money, he's still not in a good situation because the negatives win that absolute value. So his brother actually owes the bank money too, just not as much, $70 um, in better shape that he is. Uh, Andre has $37 in the bank. Sweet, way to go, Andre. Positive for a change here. Me makes a mistake. He's like, uh, I'm gonna write this check for eighty-seven dollars. I gotta buy these sweet loafers for my mansion. I don't know what he's doing, but he's he's buying something and it costs more than what he has. So this eighty-seven is not helping him. It's negative, and we have to find out what his bank account balance is after this check. Well, he's gonna be overdrawn because he's taking more money than he has. Signs are different, so we subtract. You would have to do the 87 minus 37. The sevens make the zero and five. So he is overdrawn by $50, which means that he's in the negative by $50 because negative has more absolute value there. And there you go.